Hey job seekers, I know you're out there looking for a job or you want to get more money for the job you're, you're in. Let me tell you how to do it. Okay, I'm showing you some, some jobs here, right? Microsoft Power Platform Specialist, 80 to 92, right? So we go 110 to 120, right? We look at these. Here's one that's an entry level position, 2575 an hour full time. You could probably get that one. 78 to 121 right so where we tell me to show you the money i'm showing you the money these are these are jobs that you can probably get or at least you can get close to them and here's the big one 101 to 183 pretty good pretty good you can get these jobs you don't have to be at 183 to get a job you can, you can learn enough about this platform to be able to talk intelligently about it at your next interview. And when you put it on your resume, that's what they're going to want to do. They're going to want to talk about this because there are so many people out there, so many people, so many businesses looking for people with these skills. Put it on your resume. Watch this video to continue watching this video to see how to do that. Hey, y'all. This is Dean from Morgansoft. We ask you to please, please subscribe. Just hit the button and subscribe. And today we're going to discuss an exciting topic, uh, and that is how you supercharge your resume by including Microsoft Power Apps. And the first thing that we need to talk about is maybe you're asking yourself, what is Power Apps and why does it matter to me? So the first thing to know about Power Apps is that it is a low-code platform. It doesn't require a lot of uh, coding skills, but you can easily pick those up. If you know Excel, all of the coding is based on the Excel language. Power Apps is designed for rapid development and it allows, uh, allows people to build apps much more efficiently. And it provides this low code environment. Right? And we say low code, it just means there's not no code, but it's a very small amount. Uh, you can pick it up very easily. And before we dive into the details, let's think about why Power Apps is so essential for job seekers to have on their resume. So over 65% of companies now use some kind of low code product like Power Apps or they will in the near future. Power Apps are used in over 3,500 live sites worldwide and growing every day. So when you learn Power Apps, you are learning the kind of skill that employers are looking for. Right. This means for job seekers like you, that if you know this technology, just like you know your email or you know your smartphone, you'll be able to apply for jobs with this on your resume. And that'll be make it much more likely for employers to be interested in you. And if they're interested in you, you stand a far uh, greater chance of getting the job. So... If you have worked for businesses in the past, then you would have had a chance to see standard paper forms, right? And everybody's seen them. And sometimes you complain why, like if you go to a doctor's office, why, why are they still taking my, my same information? It hasn't changed, right? Uh, you know, why isn't this in the electronic format that I can just fill out? Hey, we're going to start off with a, an app in a minute. And so I want to show you the power make.powerapp.com where I told you to go before. We're going to start with data. And as you can see, we have a big button here that says start with data. Now, any kind of data would do. You could start with an Excel file. You could start with SQL. Uh, you could start with just about anything. But we're going to select external data. I want to go from SharePoint. Right? So we're going to click the, the button that says go from SharePoint and then let it uh, find everything. I'm gonna go with the demo P site and an issues tracking list that I happen to know is there. So I'm gonna create the app and you're gonna see how quickly this app gets spun up, right? It gets done so quickly 
uh, and think about all you could do for your boss based on being able to just know how to do this one thing, right? You'd impress them a lot. So uh, we're going to take a look at this. We're going to run this. We have to preview the app up here or press F5 to, to preview it. So you see we have this, this app. And over here we have a new button. And I can do a new. And I say my title is Gotta Run. And the issue description is Wife's Waiting. Right? And the priority is critical and it's blocked because she's waiting for me. So I need to get busy with it. So I'm going to assign it to me. I'm going to say that the date reported is today. And I'm going to say that the, the that it was uh, me that, that the issue was logged by, right? So I'm going to press this, uh, this uh, green check mark and you'll see now that it's down here in the, in the list, right? So we have actually two of them. Uh, one was was previous. We'll just get rid of that one, uh, and we'll look at it and we'll say, okay, we got it. We got it in here. Let's go and make sure, just so I, nothing's up my my sleeve or anything. We'll go in and we'll look at this issues list, and we'll take a look at and make sure that it's actually there, right? So if you look at it, oh, there it is. Got to run. Wife's waiting. Critical, right? So then. Just to show again that this app is actually doing everything it was supposed to do, we can click the little trash can over here on that. And do I want to delete this record? Yes, I do. <clears throat> and then we'll refresh this and ta-da, it's gone. So you can see how powerful this app could be uh, for you. And when your, when your boss sees this, he will be very pleased that you were able to do something that quick. Something else that you can also look at is that you can change to see it on a phone, right? So if uh, Apple is your, your preferred type, we can see it on an Apple phone, right? Uh, we can change it to be a Samsung Galaxy, or we can go back to seeing it on an, an iPad, right? So as you can see, it switches between uh, the various types of device that you're on. How cool is that? So those paper forms irritate people on a daily basis. And most businesses would love to replace the paper forms with electronic forms. And that is kind of a very basic definition of Power Apps. Though, of course, it can be uh, much more than that. So for you, as an unemployed or underemployed person, listing Power Apps on your resume demonstrates an adaptability and tech savviness that employers are looking for. It doesn't mean that you have to be an IT person or that you have to learn to code it does not mean that you need to know enough about this application and these and how it kind of fits together in the Microsoft scheme of things uh, to know that it's going to be important in your job search, right? So now you might say, well, okay, that's great, Dean. How do I get started? I showed you how to create an app in a minute. You saw that me do that very quickly uh, through the app. And there's lots of options for you to do this very same thing, to create things through the apps. I want you to start off for free. And to that end, I have some links in the, in the video. And I'd like for you to take a look at them and consider uh, signing up for them because you will find that this, these free resources from Microsoft will help you to get your next job. Take my word for it, it will. And in the meantime, you can help me out through this announcement. Hey y'all, this is Dean from Morgansoft. We ask you to please, please subscribe. Just hit the button 
and subscribe. <clears throat> I want to wrap this up by talking to you a little bit about uh, the IT industry. Generally, when we talk about coding and we talk about developers, it's a very um, specialized field and hard to get into. Microsoft has democratized this by making citizen developers, and that's their term, not mine, citizen developers for the power platform. And when they say citizen developers, they mean <clears throat> people just like you. Learn it, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that you're going to be able to go out and sell it on your resume. And there's so many options. Microsoft gives you so many uh, free options to learn this uh, that you could spend a lot of time doing it. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to go to that link that I gave you and look at the links in the description of this video and take a look at them and come and do come back and subscribe uh, to the to this channel because we will be continuing and uh, click the notifications button because we will be going forward with more videos on how the power platform all fits together, uh, what the parts of it are. And this is not meant to be a developer course. This is for citizen developers. This is for people who just want to learn this to get ahead or maybe because they're just interested in it. Maybe you just like the idea of, of being able to do something a little different and, and maybe you start playing with this and you find out you really enjoy it. That would make my day. If you, the more of you that found that you really enjoyed uh, doing this, that would make me very happy. And I would appreciate it if you'd leave comments. Thank you. I love you. Bye.